On some of the previous cow-calf corners, we have visited with you about the importance of these baby calves getting passive transfer of antibodies, whether it be from the mother's first milk, the colostrum, or perhaps from a commercial colostrum replacer that we have to give that uh, sluggish calf that's born after a difficult birth ourselves. And we talk about doing that within the first six hours of life so that the absorption of those antibodies is done as efficiently as possible. Now let's get into a little more of the why that this is so important. Research that was done about 25 years ago now up at the USDA uh, station at uh, Clay Center, Nebraska. They did a very, very interesting study where they looked at 263 crossbred calves that were born at that station and at 24 hours of age, they took blood samples of those baby calves and they classified them as either getting an adequate amount of passive transfer of the antibodies from the mother or inadequate. They just didn't get enough to where they thought they might have a chance to have a higher likelihood of getting sick. Well, as they followed those calves through the weaning uh, period of their life, they found out some very interesting data. Those that didn't get an adequate amount of passive transfer in that first 24 hours of life were 6.4 times more likely to get sick during the first 28 days of their life as they follow them through weaning. Those calves that were inadequate in that first 24 hours of life were 3.2 times more likely to have gotten sick sometime between birth and weaning. And then when you look at the whole picture, those calves that had an inadequate amount of passive transfer were 5.4 times more likely to not make it to weaning. They died of something. But at weaning time, the story didn't stop there. As they followed those same calves all the way through the feedlot phase, what they found was those calves that had an inadequate amount of passive transfer during the first few hours of life were three times more likely to show up in the sick pen or having to be treated for prop, uh, probably respiratory disease, bovine respiratory disease in the feedlot phase. So what this tells me is that what's happening in that first 24 hours of life is really important to the extended health of those baby calves all the rest of their lives. From a management standpoint, what are we to do about it? Well, I think one of the first keys is to properly develop the replacement heifers. Make sure that they're big enough and in good body condition at calving time so that they're capable of giving their genetic maximum amount of milk, first milk, colostrum, so that their baby calf has the best chance of getting that adequate amount of passive transfer of those antibodies. I think if we'll keep that in mind during this upcoming calving season or, or any calving season, it'll help us understand that if we do those things, we'll have a better chance of having a higher percent calf crop to wean at weaning time and help our bottom line. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow Calf Corner. <music>